losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Hello. So today I'm going to show you how to package all the versions of Microsoft Visual C++ into one deployable package. That will include all from 2005 right up to 2022. If there's any older ones you don't need, you'll simply be able to remove the line from the batch file and the executables and just install the ones you do need. And I'll put a copy of the batch file into the description of this video. So we need to get started. So the first thing we need to do is to work out the silent switches for each package. I'm not going to show you them all because there's 12 of them. So I'll show you one and the process is the same on all of them. So what we need to do first is find a clean machine without anything installed. So I use a VM and I'm going to copy the folder with all of the packages onto this VM. then need to open a, a command window as administrator and open our folder. So the way we do that would be to change the directory to where the files are. So the one I will show, I'll show you any of them because they're all the same. The process And it's a simple question mark switch gives us the commands that are available and Q is for quiet on, on the one I've chosen and it's as simple as that so you just need to make a note of that for which ones you're doing. You will see on here in the batch file that some are slightly different the newer ones have a full need a full quiet and some actually need a restart and no restart command as well. As I say, all this information will be in the info in the um, info of the video, and I'll go through this batch file a little bit later. And we need to copy these back to our host device. So we need to create an Intune.win file now. So we'll go into the application that creates that for us, and I need to go to my source files where everything is including the, the CMD file is kept and copy the, that path out into here and hit enter um, our file is called install.cmd I want the output folder to be the same and I don't want to create a catalog folder for this one now this packages everything everything up into an intune.win folder for us as you can see there our next stage will be to put this into intune <coughs> so once we're in our admin center in it within intune we need to create a new application and we select a win32 application and we need to find the package we've just created select that we call it something that me meaningful and I'll copy that the same thing into the description and what I would normally do is put all the versions in the description so it's easier to decide what you need to take out if there's any old ones you need to remove later on and I'll put a version in just so just so I know what version I'm up to on this our install command is okay. and we need to put an uninstall command in so I'm just going to paste the same one in at the moment if you wanted to write a uninstall command that's easy enough you just change the syntax in the batch file I'm going to select our architecture 
as 64 bit for this one and minimum windows version of 1909 I don't need to select anything else in there our detection rule on this one is going to be slightly different to normal because it's not easy to detect whether or not this is actually installed so what I have done within the batch file I've also got the batch file to make me a directory within the Windows folder so the path for that is C Windows and I've created a specific folder file for this one rather called that again these will be in the in the in documentation for this video and I want to check that that folder exists because there's 13 applications within one package it's difficult to find out if it's finished so as I say at the end of the of the batch file it creates this folder and then it lets you know that the whole process is finished rather than just one of the installs I've got no dependencies on this one no supersedence assignments I'm going to make this required to my VM Now another thing you can do here is if you want this on the devices as they are built rather than deploying it post build if we go into devices we go into enroll devices and we go into our ESP we choose our ESP policy and we go to properties and settings and at the bottom you can select which app apps you want to install or uninstall of the device during the autopilot phase obviously I'm, I'm uninstalling the Xbox um, applications and I'll show you how to do that in another video so if we were to choose our YouTube C++ demo add that to there while this is on the ESP page and the device is preparing for the user these C++ will install at that time rather than later on I'm just going to cancel that for now and I'll come back to that later on now we need to test our deployment works so we can boot up our virtual machine you don't need to log in but it helps for the sync and as this is required there will be nothing in company portal we'll just have to wait for that to install and if I open control panel and go to our uninstalled programs you'll see none of it is actually installed at this moment so I'll leave that for a couple of minutes until it comes up and I'll come back to that shortly our toast message has just popped up to tell me it's downloading and installing the C++ applications and you should see these start to come into here soon a couple have been installed already you see it's a really fast process obviously advisable at the end of this to do a reboot after they've all installed and you see our demo was installed successfully and the reason it knows it's successful is the fact that it can see the folder structure that I created within the install command file So it won't be long before we can actually see that that's installed as well in Intune. It takes a little bit longer in here because the device has to sync back, but I'll show you that in a few minutes. While that's syncing, I'll go through the batch file with you. So we turn the echo off and set the path to to basically here 
it sets whether or not the architecture or detect whether the architecture is 64 bit or not if it's not 64 bit it runs just the 32 bit the x86 versions of C++ and makes a directory relevant to that if it is a 64 bit device then it installs both 86 and 64 bit versions of all of the applications and creates a folder relevant to that so if we deploy it to 64 bit devices we tell the detection rule to look for that folder path and if we deploy it to 32 bit devices we tell the the detection rule to look for that folder path so we can actually know which is which and come up as a successful either way and as you can see we're already showing that we are installed on one device um, and it's all been successful thanks for watching